in here. Some noise in the majors. Ah, you never know. Norm's saying it's not over yet. I've had a great year, too. That's such a big goal for Norm to become player of the year again. He's had the look. He's had the breaks all day long. Finally, things go his way. Norm Duke's going to be in the 270s. And just an incredible year for one of the greatest that's ever thrown a ball. In. Yes. Norm, a championship level season. Told you about the seven shows last year. Led the tour in points, led the tour in average. Runner up for Player of the Year award. Tommy Jones out of home. <laughs> Chris, Chris, you said it. Norm gets the opening and he puts his foot on his throat. And being a professional bowler myself, I've been to that party and it's no fun. Watch this. Head pin comes across. Here's the ticket. He makes moves with conviction. He's totally 100% committed to every adjustment he makes. Great example. How much strategy is involved on show day. There is none. Fink. Head to head with the lane. And down goes the 10. Are you kidding me? He said another 7-10. Not in my building, pal. Looked like a Chris Barnes messenger. Got all my Norm. old Brooklyn. Yeah! Huge! That messenger came with some venom. Huge, huge shot. Norm Duke working on a strike. He's got a 31 pin advantage. He knows he could take a huge lead and watch the head pin go to the sidewall and take the 10 out. It goes down like a keg at a frat party. Norm Duke beat Ryan Schaefer twice last season for titles. One of them right here in this very building. Duke's last title came here. The 07 Pepsi Championship, March 18th. A little sling blade on the tempin. I knew that could be a couple of pretty good guys. And he's using the ball that he used that last fill shot of the last game. Used it in practice, likes what he sees with it. And look at that. Great pin action, great pin carry, and a great way to start the title match. A resourceful strike for Duke who sits down.